All right, folks, positive poll once again. I'm going to quickly try to explain another video before I post it from over the weekend. As I stated, the reptoids were buzzing around all weekend, doubling down. You had the blue underbelly perp plane. You had the white uh, blue wingtip uh, perp plane. And it was nonstop from Sunday until yesterday. So let's look at this video real quick. Alright, I, I study these birds and they're pretty friendly with me. Once in a while they'll actually get right next to me. Once in a blue moon they'll let me actually, you know, hold them, believe it or not, as I've demonstrated. But as we see, it's a crystal clear blue sky. When I'm taking these videos, I'm constantly scanning, looking around. In this case, I'm standing on a uh, six-foot uh, ladder, and I'm maybe about 20 feet away from this bird. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep your eye, your focus, right here in the corner. And once I start the video, the very first second, you're going to see something zip by. Okay. Now let's, let's try that one more time. Make sure we can see this, folks. Get ready, right? coming down here all right so let's look what the heck was that well what that was was this thing right here now we can convince ourselves that that's you know some type of crazy bug and who knows maybe it very well could be but I am going to share one thought of what I believe it could be because look when I tell you that I have high-ranking people that come from my family that are are Satanist some are gone their descendants took over when I tell you that I was part of MK Ultra put on the chopping block by his cowardly father all right and I demonstrate all these weird anomalies uh, buzzing around me I think we should start paying attention. Now, YouTube's done a good job at hiding all my material, covering up my material, editing my material. Facebook did that. I'm done with Facebook. But let's look at this thing. Look at the, the clarity, the, the quality of this, all right? That thing was right next to the camera lens of the iPad. Now, as I stated, I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything buzzing by, nothing. But there it is. Look, it has these filler probes. Look at the two wings. And then there's something. It looks, look, it's, the tail is curved. It's curled up. All right? So let's, let's look at this next picture. All right? This is a scorpion I found in my bed. Um, I don't know, a year or so ago. I don't know how it got there. Let's look at that. All right? I'm in Baja, Mexico. Yes, these things are running around. But what was that thing doing in my bed? All right, go back to this thing. Excuse me. What's the similarity here? Look at Ed's tail. The thing is curled up like a scorpion's tail. All right, now folks, this is where you should be paying attention right now. All you perps that aren't watching, of course. All right, we're in the book of Revelation, chapter 9. At the sounding of the fifth angel, a star falleth from heaven, to whom is given the key of the bottomless pit. He openeth the pit, and there comes forth locusts like scorpions. Yikes. Verse 3, Revelation, chapter 9. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. And unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power, folks. Now, when we come down here, it tells them, don't hurt the grass of the earth, any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Now, folks, I've already explained, my salvation is not in question. I have the seal of God in my forehead. That's pretty obvious. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. When I'm gone, the rest of you are next. But here, this is an important take-home message right now. Book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 5. 
And to them, it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. Now, folks, review that when you go home tonight. Let this sink in. As I'll continually state, what you see going on out there is not by the hands of man. Let's real quick look at something from uh, last Friday, all right? I had made those posts of the perp planes on Thursday, and it was crystal clear blue sky. That, that night, they chemtrailed all night into the next day. I'm looking up. Look at your sun. Look what happened there. I don't know if you can see that. It has these rings around it. All right. Now, what I can explain to you is on that Friday, last Friday, this is directly related to all the gang stalking behavior. I was getting the crazy, demonic, wacko, these, I don't know if it's the trained monkey gang stalkers out there or it's just demonic behavior. I was getting directed conversation, which I never get, and all the other wacky behavior. And I'm telling you, it's directly related to this chemtrail nonsense. Now, here, here's another quick picture that I want to show you. They're hiding something behind the sun. This is from my camera about maybe two years ago. And I can show this in other pictures, but not in this great of detail. Look at that. There's an object, a spherical planet-like object. Right there's the perp plane. You can't see it, but there's the sun. What is that, folks? We need to get a grasp on this quickly or it could mean the end of your very existence.